The next thing I did was create a new Java application, just like I did with the sample Java Swing app. That is just a Java application. I called it Turtle Tracker Desktop. And then I right clicked on it and went to new, other, and selected Swing GUI Forms and JForm and followed the navigation and made an add specimen JForm. I moved some labels. This label here, I changed the font, but I put some labels down for my different fields and I moved over some text fields. Uh, one thing you'll notice when you put a text field on is that it fills it with um, some predefined text. I'll delete this text field here. Uh, to get rid of it, it's easy. You go over to the, you select it, you go over to the properties, scroll down to text and you can remove it. And you'll notice that the, it changes sizes then. It makes it real small, but you can just put your mouse here and kind of drag it open. Uh, and then I added a save button. And with the save button, I'm gonna put the code behind it to take the data in this field and save it to the database. Uh, one other thing I did just to make my life a little easier is when I put down each of the um, text fields, I went over to the lower left pane and I did a, I think rename is here. If not rename is there, if you single click on it, uh, you can change the name of them. So I changed the name to them to JTF for Java text field and then the name of the form. Uh, that's kind of a convention often used and it helps when you see some code, if it starts with JTF, you know that's a Java text field. Uh, and some people actually rename their labels, but I think that's a little excessive because we don't often write code with the labels. Uh, we also could do it with like the button and things like that. So just to make it easy to understand the code down the road, I changed it to JTF, weight, length, health, breed, and location. Uh, and then of course, if I wanted to, I could go through and make this look better. I could change colors, fonts, um, there's all kinds of properties that can be changed and all different GUI components from radio buttons to check boxes that can be added. Uh, so that was the next step in the process.